Kilda this morning we're here at Fletcher's offices at, in Penrose at Auckland in Auckland and we're here this morning to demonstrate to Fletcher's that there's still a large opposition to their uh, special housing area development at Ihumato. This land is too sacred, uh, too significant, too historical um, to sacrifice at the hands of profit and development. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing here today. You are robbing your children of public open space, of history, of cultural landscapes that speak to the beginnings of our nation. Kia ora I'm Betty. I'm one of the crew from Eagle Mato. I'm the 27th generation that has lived out Eagle Mato born and bred. My great grandson is the 30th, that's how long we've been there. This land was confiscated in 1863. Some of our two punas were murdered down at Bangatafiri. Crimes that are yet to be accounted for. Their blood cries from the ground. Many years ago, our land was stolen. It was stolen in the middle of the night. Yep. Yeah. While our people slept. My grandfather was slaughtered and murdered in his home. So I stand here proudly and I am telling Fletcher to we go and build homes on their dead. I would like to say thank you very much for coming here and reminding Fletcher Building of what has been done in the past and what is still being done today. It is a case, Fletcher, of history repeating itself. As a Māori, um, I'm ashamed um, of this government of Fletcher's and as a Salvation Army, we're calling the government and Fletcher's to be better. Māori should not be renters in their own land. I'm just calling out to all communities that have come up from their homeland and made a living in New Zealand. I'm calling for them to come and stand with us. Because I tell you, once those bulldozers have entered our borderline, there's no going back. This is a struggle. 